I'm Laura. I'm Bridget Anderson, and I work with Patronicity. My name is Aaron McDonald. I'm an astrophysicist and current science consultant. I'm director of the Mill. I'm Mohamed Noor. I'm a science consultant for the Star Trek universe. Robert Picardo here. And I would like to appear virtually. When I think about it, I appear virtually all seven seasons. <laughs> I mean, I was a hologram. Captain Janeway inspired a generation of young women to pursue STEM. Everyone was inspired by Janeway's leadership. I know I was. Not only by her character's leadership, but Kate's leadership as an actress on our set. Janeway has probably been the biggest female role model for me. I learned the huge value of friendship, and Captain Janeway was at the helm of that. Captain Janeway was the captain of a century. Janeway pushed new ideas on the term leader into the world at a time when we really needed that. The statue is located right near a children's science museum called Wonder Lab. How appropriate. Captain Janeway was really the one that got me through my PhD. I discovered Voyager when I was in graduate school. I was by myself, I was living in Scotland, I didn't know anyone. Akin to being lost in the Delta Quadrant, not knowing anyone, trying to find your way home, and needing to rely on science was something that really spoke to me. I stepped into my STEM career at a time when the female empowerment movement had been in full swing, and I owe so much to the women before me who took on those challenges, and I think Captain Janeway is the embodiment of those women. Janeway truly showed what it was like to be a captain. Keep your shirt tucked in, go down with the ship, and never abandon a member of your crew. She's been dragged across the galaxy. She has to lead not only her own crew, but a crew of people who she was hunting just moments earlier. And she does this with grace. They look up to her, and they know that she is looking out for them. It was almost heartbreaking for me to watch this Starfleet captain and her crew get tossed 70,000 light years away from their home, which at the time felt like what I was doing. And I felt like I had been tossed into the Delta Quadrant with them. Captain Janeway continues to get the acknowledgement from fans, from the community, and can have such a huge impact on people's lives, particularly when it comes to inspiring people to get into STEM fields. Hi. I'm Ryan Hamlet, and I'm so very glad that ICDA and Patronicity could help contribute to a project that adds a little whimsy to one of Indiana's most magical cities. What began as the pipe dream of a few intrepid fans mole grew into a reality. When ICDA analyzed the fundraising data for this project, we found that seven of nine visitors to the site made a donation to know that the next generations of Trekkies will discover this monument on their voyager along the Beeline Trail is beyond fantastic. Make no bones about it. The Captain Janeway Monument is proof that if you can think of it, you can make it happen. Leaders in Bloomington and beyond have been inspired by Captain Catherine Janeway, and we hope this sculpture will continue to encourage our young people to reach for the stars. With the nod to equality, to the connection to IU, and it's just a really fun, cool, nerdy thing that I think everybody can rally around. Everybody loves Star Trek. It's uniquely Bloomington. She was an extra treat when moving to Bloomington, and she's a great connection to nerds all over the world. I'm proud and grateful that we can have a daily reminder of that in our town. I'm very delighted to appear at this unveiling of the Captain Janeway statue in Bloomington, Indiana. What a wonderful tribute to a wonderful character and a wonderful actress and friend, Kate McGrew. I've longed for years to raise a glass to her bust. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, you should try this.